So next topic is um, student interactions within Canvas. And uh, again, you know, small group feel like this is something I, I really like. Um, so one of the things that is, um, I think, really fantastic about Canvas, and one of the reasons I was one of the early adopters, was um, I was looking for a space where students could interact in this kind of video conference uh, kind of uh, approach. And so this is native, or it feels native at least. Maybe it's not on the back end, but it's, it's, it's pretty seamless, right? Um, so they, you know, there's like one place where everything happens. Um, uh, you know, so it's super easy for students. It's intuitive for them. Um, you know, I was thinking they might have to go to like Google Hangout on Air and then like be like live tweeting at the same time or something. But like this is sort of one tool all in the same place. Um, uh, that said, um, one of the things that has been uh, interesting is, um, and that I learned the most recent time I taught this was, um, when the waitlist clears, people aren't added automatically to sort of all the right permissions. And so then, you know, if they're in a group, you have to add them to the group permissions, and, and you have to give them access to get into the video conference. And so um, that was uh, one of those uh, things that um, was uh, a surprise to me. Um, and in the, the video conferencing software, so I, I have, I would say maybe, you know, 12 people, probably max at any one point in time that are talking heads. Everyone else is sort of watching uh, via chat. And so, um, you know, the first few times I tried it, and I think I tried this last time I taught it too. Um, every once in a while, like the, in the first class, I'll just say like, okay, like I want everyone at the end of our first class to like turn on your videos and see like if the system will handle it. And then inevitably cra crashes, right? And so it's like, okay, like, you know, that's like the end of week one. Like we still can't, we still can't, you know, be in a place where we have 80 people as talking heads. Um, which is uh, unfortunate, but um, uh, you know, I don't think um, there's so much that we can, can do that. Um, uh, one of the nice things, because the chat and the video are sort of right there together, is you can have everyone basically log in with audio and then mute their microphone, so that if someone, you know, if there's a question about, uh, it's like one of the articles that we read is about a school that assigned kids color-coded ID cards based on their test scores, right? And some of the students in my class have actually been in schools that have done that. And so then you can say, like, you know, hey, if you were in this kind of school, can you raise your hand, right? And then they can sort of virtually raise their hand. And then you can say, you know, can you unmute yourself and tell us about this? And that way they can sort of get pulled into the discussion. And there's sort of, it's really, um, it, it makes the... It makes it feel like the physical analog to like a panel discussion like this with a town hall audience, right? Except that you guys can all be texting with each other in some kind of group text, and we can see the things as they pop up and be like, oh, like here's the question that everyone's having right now. Mm -hmm. So that sort of facilitating that kind of interaction is um, is pretty cool, I think. Um, uh, and then um, one other thing I wanted to mention was. Um, it's great. Technology is awesome when it works, but when it doesn't, it's really frustrating, especially for students. Because you know, I feel like when you're my age or older, you're used to struggling with technology. But when you're younger, you're used to it just works, right? Um, and so one of the big issues we had was the Wi-Fi on campus um, was uh, not, you know, because I would say like, you know, if you don't have Wi-Fi at home, just you know, come to campus, and they would come to campus, and then they would be cutting out all the time because the Wi-Fi on campus was not that great. Mm -hmm. So. You know, that's not a Canvas issue, but there are sort of these kinds of you know, larger uh, technology infrastructure issues that, that come out when you try to use things in different ways. So, so the, the group work in my class is very, very different. And again, we were divided up into discussion sections. Um, we've learned over, over the years that if students pose their own questions for a discussion, they've already thought about it, they're much more likely to come to a discussion section ready to talk. So we had students be required every week to post discussion questions for their sections. Um, and then there would be a thread, so students could begin to comment any, on each other's question, and the TA, of course, could, could see all of this. And all, that all works extremely well in Canvas. It's a really nice interactive moment. But as I said before, it requires that all of the, all of the questions be due at the same time, regardless of when the section meets. Or at least I couldn't figure out how you could make 10 discussion times do at different times. So we had to come together and agree on a certain time, well, uh, leaving flexibility and leaving it open perhaps for other sections. Um, so that's, that's frustrating. But, but the system itself and the ability for students to have this discussion ahead of time is, is very spiffy. It 
It is, yeah, it, we, we set it up so it was done within the section, right? They're only seeing the discussion within their 20 student section. With outside of the groups, can, can you do the same thing? That's a very good question. I'm sure Karen's happy to answer <laughs> it. <laughs> um, you can have a course-based discussion. The alternate is really within groups. And you can configure your groups however you want to. Um, Sharon happened to do it based on the discussion section for students who are enrolled in it, but you could also use oh, what Liz did and let students self-sign up for their own groups and have their own discussion with those groups. By last name. 